Hello beautiful people. My name is Sherry and this is Granny's Sewing Room. And I'm hoping this is the last part of putting my Shelly bra together. So the last part of the tutorial of making the Shelly bra. I ran into some problems and I don't know if it's because of the lace that I put on the cup that caused the cups to be a little too short for the uh, cradle. And you can see I did put the lace on. I put the lace on the cradle. Or the bridge, not the cradle. They cradle in there. But this is the bridge. And the cups were not, they were just too short. Uh, they wouldn't fit into the bridge. So I figured it out last night what I was going to do. My band is going to be smaller in the back. So what I did, I went ahead and put the cups cups in, but that's how short they were. They were this much, I bet that's an inch and a half uh, from the side of the band here. So I just folded it over, followed the cup, the power bar, went around, folded it over, and the band in the bridge is just going to be shorter going around the back. So, and I'm, I'm sewing it down and now I'm, I'm going to put the elastic pico around the shoulder here and under the arm. Then I'm going to put the elastic under the band. Then I'll finish sewing this lace down. So let's get to the sewing machine and get going. I bet you guys are tired of this bra stuff. I got two new uh, bra patterns coming. I'm supposed to get uh, an order, a bra order in the mail today. So that will be a haul next week I'll show you. Alright, I already did one side because I don't want to bore you to death. But the next thing I'm going to do, I, I'm not following the pattern the way it kind of says to follow it because I don't know. I probably should, but uh, I probably wouldn't run into mistakes. But you know, as you become a sewer, a sewist, a seamstress, whatever you want to call yourself, um, you know we have a problem following directions all the time. I am going to start with um, sewing my channeling in before I put the elastic on. Probably should put the elastic on first. But I already got this started. So you want to make sure you have a little extended out to the side. You want to make sure you're channeling. You want to sew the cup. And you want to sew it on top of the cup uh, seam. Put it, put it on the, let me see, inside the cup because we're folding it over to the outside of the cup. So leave a little bit of channeling extended and put the channeling in there and make sure you have the fuzzy side uh, on top. And you don't want to sew right up to the very edge of the bra yet because we're going to sew that down after we put the wire in there. So I have my channeling down and then the my cup, I've already sewed my cup in and there's already a quarter of an inch so I can see where I'm supposed to sew. And you want to get as close to the edge of the channeling as possible because you want your wire to be able to fit through and you got to sew the other side of this channeling down. sure I get the channeling and the fabric is not bunching up under there. This machine really can go through thickness of fabric. 
really well. So I'm going to go up all the way, but not to the end. I want to leave a little, little bit unsewed. I'm on the hump here, so that's not good. All right. So if you sewed this in, oh, if you sewed this in correctly, when you lift your bra, open your bra. It's going to fold outward away from the cup if you sewed it in correctly. And the fuzzy side should be up. And you want to make sure it caught that seam to the cup and that you're as close to the edge of the channeling as possible. Because we're going to sew this down on this ant side and we're going to sew another line of stitches and the wire goes inside. So, and you always want to make sure there's a little extra on the ends. Let me take some of the thread off and give this a cut. Then I'm going to work on the elastic on the under on the underarm. Okay, I'm sewing the elastic under the arm on the on the band, uh, shoulder band, and under the arm. So I put the elastic with the soft side up, and I put it so the pinko edge or the pink knee edge, the embroidery edge, whatever you want to call it, goes toward the strap. So when I fold it over, it's going to look like that. So I'll get that underneath the foot and start sewing. And you want to sew as close to the pinked edge as possible, the embroidery edge. And I am going to start stretching it under my arm. Because I want a little stretch under here. You want to make sure you hold your channeling down. Line that elastic up to the edge of your fabric. And I don't want to stretch it. On the band. All right, so I fold it over and then I stitch it down again, but this time I stitch close to the edge of the elastic, not by the uh, pinked edge sides. All right, so I'll start sewing this down. Give it a little stretch. I'm going to feel it, make sure I'm catching it. Get your channeling out of the way. Okay, here's what it looks like. All 
All right, now I'm going to uh, work on the elastic on the bottom. Same with the uh, small elastic. This elastic has a soft side, a fuzzy side, and a rough side. So you want to get the soft side and sew the soft side up. Kind of hard to tell. Well, I guess if it can't tell, then it's... And you want to make sure your rough your pink pink edge is going facing up toward the bra because we're going to turn this and i need to zigzag again i need it on two to start And I'm not going to stretch it on the band. You want to sew, sew close to the pink edge. And keep the elastic edge and the bra edge close together. Line them up. Now I want to start stretching a tad bit. Just a little bit. You do not want your fabric to stretch, just the elastic. I hope it turns out the way my mind is thinking. Make sure you're not stitching your channeling under there. I didn't check, but I'm too far into it now. I'll check when I'm done. I can feel it. It doesn't feel like I have. Now I want no stretch on the band. And the channeling. Ooh, I didn't stitch it. So this is what it should look like. The front of the bra, the elastic should look like this. And now we're gonna fold it to the underneath and then stitch on top. And then you stitch with a four. Let me see, I have gotta change this to a four. Four and what? Let me make sure. Four with the one and a half stitch length. This doesn't go to 1.5. It goes to 1.2, 1.4, 1.6. So I'm doing the 1.6. And then I turn my elastic over and we want to stitch to the edge of the uh, elastic. We want that elastic to hold down. And if you can't see it from the front or feel it from the front, turn it around to the back. And I think I will because I have my channeling back there. So I want to make sure I don't. 
also my channeling. And she's off. Pull it down. So I want to lift my channeling up. And I did stretch this, so I want to make sure I'm stretching. Don't want my lace caught in there. I want to stretch it a little bit. Get my channeling out of there. So far, so good. I am not seeing any skip stitches. It is such a pleasure to sew when your machine works and you're not going through headaches with it. And let's look and see what it looks like. Oh, I think I got my, I did. I got my lace. Bummer. So I got to remove these stitches here because I got the lace stuck in there. But that's, that's what it looks like with the elastic sewn in. So I got the top elastic done, the bottom elastic done. I'm just going to tack down the lace. I'm going to fix that and then we're going to work on the back strap and the closure. So I tacked my lace down on my bra except for the bottom part because that's going to get tacked down when I uh put the uh, when I sew the channeling down so that's what I'm going to do next sew the channeling down so what we do we take our channeling and we just fold it over and it needs to fold over away from the cups and we're going to stitch very close to the edge of the channeling so we can make sure we can fit a wire in there and I want it on a straight stitch and I'm going to start stitching. Trying to pull my lace. Now if you have to sew on top of the bottom elastic, go ahead. Let's make sure I got all of it 
attached and I did. All right, there's my channeling for that side anyway. I'll do the other side. Let's see if I can get a wire in there. Uh, this isn't the wire I'm using. It's too big, but I just want to see if it fits in there. I have some coming today. Well, they say my shipment's supposed to come today. And let's see if I got her in there so I can fit one in. A little tight, but that's what we want. Yep, see it comes all the way through. But I'm gonna put it I'm gonna stitch this shut right here. But this is a store purchased bra or wire I took out of an old bra. And look it I mean it pokes me under here. So their wires were always too big. So too big of a wire. But I know I got my channeling done right. All right, I'm going to sew the other channeling down and then we'll start working on the back strap. They provide you with uh, seam tape, so if you want to cover up your seams. But I'm not going to do that. I don't think that'll bother me. Plus, uh, I already, you know, if you sewed the lace on last, and put it over your cup it might have been different but I'm not going to use that but they do provide that in a kit here's what my bra looks like so far uh, I already cut the channeling down where I need to on the sides here the wires fit I'm leaving the channeling here because I want to sew back and forth right there uh, and then I'll cut those off and then you want to make sure this fits here. If it doesn't fit, then you start trimming up this way. But it looks like it fits to me. I probably could trim just a tad bit, but it looks like it fits. Because now this, the shiny part goes up. This goes like this. You sew this around like this for as long as you want it. And I'm going to cut mine out at 12 inches. There's six, there's 12. Because I don't use a lot of elastic. this is going to sew right on to that so you want and this just lays on top next to the seam but you want to make sure this fits in there which it does I mean I could trim just a little smidget off and you just follow your line up there Perfect. All right, let's get the sliders. And I got to find them. Well, I found my rings and sliders. I have looked everywhere for these. I decided to pick up my magnet that I hold my pins and they were nicely tucked on the bottom. Mercy. I don't know if I put them there or they just got stuck there. But that was a headache. Have you ever done that? Start sewing and then trying to find something? Oh my. I put my uh, 
wires in already and I'm hoping these ones work. Um, I think there are 42 and this one was really tight and hard to get in. So you know you put the shorter end in first because the shorter end goes here and the longer end here. They feel like they might not be long enough, but you don't want them all the way to the end. So we'll see. If not, I'm not going to tack this closed until I know because I have other wires coming. So we make sure this fits and if it is a little too big, then we just tr start trimming right off the edge here. But it does look like it's going to fit. Let's get some whiskers out of there. Yeah, that looks like it fits. I trimmed it just a little bit. I do my straps at 12 inches. That's plenty for me. We go up and through. And then we sew that down. So I like to do that with both of them. So up, shiny side up, up, and through. When you have arthritis in your hands, it's not easy putting the wires in or playing with little things like this. And I like trying to keep both mine the exact same. So that's about an inch I folded it up. So I'm going to sew that on each of them. Okay, so we put the ring on. And then you take the shiny side and feed it back through. Shiny side and just feed it back through. Set one aside. So you take and put your shiny side up and then you just sew it, sew it down and you just line up right next to your fabric, your elastic and you want to come out a ways because you want it to, because I don't seem to be able to get it curved like they say, I try. Maybe I'll go down straight first. I'll see if I can do that. Since I'm learning. Alright, that went straight. Now I'll tur curve it. Hey, that might help. Just make a straight line and curve it and stretch it as you curve it. Like that. Okay, here I go. Here goes nothing. And I'm going to do it on the back. Maybe I can see the fabric better. And you go real close to the edge. See how that makes a nest 
every time. I don't like that. I don't know why. Why, 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 why? Can't we just buy a machine with no problems? All right, now another row of stitching on the other side. See the nest? Get rid of all the whiskers. So one strap's done. And then we tuck the front strap in, loop it, and do a zigzag there. All right, and let me see. The front bra goes, face it up, that goes on like that. Now this part, I don't mind sewing in here. But it's the other end that has a little difficulty. I could have made this even smaller. Doggone it. Let's see if I can get it under there. Cut it down. Well, I'm going to do another stitch. It says for a straight stitch. Secure. Success.
Watch me have it on backwards. No, think positive. Woohoo! So one's done. So let's make sure this side fits and I think you turn over your bra like this. And then this goes facing like this. And this is This is too big, so we need to cut some off. This was the part that scared me at first. This is the part I hate sewing this one on. I put my zipper foot in and it still is just not easy to sew. They need to give you more room for this tab. That's still too big. This is all going to be covered by that elastic. We just have to get it to fit there. Now that seems to fit. Hmm, I say that's a fit. I'm just going to give it a curve. Make it smooth. going to have to change the presser foot to a zipper foot and the bra faces up and the teeth here face up as well all right last part So far, so good. Oh, I got it. I'll clean off the whiskers at the end of the video. All right, I just have to attach this strap. And try her on. Change presser feet. I'm not putting the walking foot back on. My bra it is completed I have to trim all the threads and I'm going to go try it on and I got the lace on oh I'm all happy so I'm gonna go try it on and let you know
Well, that's the end of my bra tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. So, my fourth Shelly bra. Has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. I will talk to you soon and don't forget Monday I will be posting the video where you uh, answer a question to win the $25 gift certificate from Amazon. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe and like my uh, channel and uh, hit the little bell on the side and you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. So. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching and sticking out my bra tutorial with me. Have a great weekend. God bless. Bye-bye.